Hello and welcome back to our HIP New World Order campaign in the Holy Roman Empire here. And just before we get started for this episode, I want to mention a few uh, sort of housekeeping issues. The long-awaited new version of HIP has just been released, so I will be starting a new series in that version. Uh, there's a pretty good chance it's actually already up by the time you see this video, so go check that out if it's something you're interested in. But that doesn't mean that we're just going to abruptly end this series. We're going to at least be continuing until we finish uh, the campaign to take over all of Lithuania here, which we are currently in a war to continue doing. And in fact, it's not inconceivable that we could just continue playing this series until the end date. We're only like 80 or 90 years away. I forget the exact date. So uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, continuing this series until the actual end of the game. If not, we can just uh, come to a graceful conclusion after we uh, completely take over the Kingdom of Lithuania and grant it independence. Either way, let me know. So, let's get back to our business. We are, as mentioned, engaged in a holy war for one of these duchies in Lithuania. There's uh, one more held by Gallic Valhin that we're going to have to take over after this, and then there's one that's under Poland, which we're also going to want. Uh, Poland also is having a bit of a revolt right now, so we'll have to wait until later to do that, but that's fine. We can't actually use the correct de jure CB until we have the kingdom title anyway. What is this revolt about? Crown authority, okay. Not really a big deal then. They can call us in if they want to. And... Our duke here has usurped a title, okay, but she is this. Well, that's fine, I suppose. That means he has two duchy titles? No? Okay, not exactly sure what he just usurped there, but either way. We are up to 48%, so we'll just continue to sit here and siege for the rest of this war. We should be able to end it fairly soon. Um, we should probably have a look at our succession issues. That's not something we've been paying too much attention to. We're still lined up to inherit as Prince Folkmar here, which is fine. He's a good character, but he is getting on in years himself. And actually, we should be looking even further ahead to who we're going to play as after him. So I think he's had some strong children. At least uh, there's Kaspar von Henneberg here. Fortunately, he's been getting a pretty bad education from this Baroness. Well, he became ambitious, which is fine, but otherwise he's envious and trusting, which is not really great. How about Dietwin here? He is proud, which is okay, and he's only eight years old, so we could take over his education ourselves right now and try to make sure he gets a better one with the intention of possibly playing as him later. Uh, let's check out the youngest. Uh, she's tall, but otherwise no special traits, so I think we'll go with strong over tall. Okay. So we have to wait for the confirmation here. So we should be able to get him a decent education, or let's hope so. Assuming that we live long enough to do so, we'll want to hand him off to somebody else as he approaches 16 years old so that he can get a better trait than fortune builder there, but that's okay. Yes, our plot right now is to kill you. Because of the whole Polish issue, which... Uh, I mean, we're not above 100% right now, and... We could be, so let's get some bribes sent out here. I think this is going to be enough, okay. You claim that you would be a better spymaster than our current spymaster. Well, you probably would be 24. Okay, we'll allow it. 
Oh no, wait, this guy is a duke. We probably don't want to actually fire him. Yeah, we'll say that we rule in the Holy Roman Empire for now. Of course, our last husband was a capable counselor. Well, Denzian heresy again. Horrible. So it's actually spreading. We're not even containing it. Was it this province it just spread to? Or is it somewhere else entirely? No, it's here. Alright. Looks like the Bulgarian Empire has started converting provinces. There's one at least that's Waldensian there. And we have a peace offer from Lithuania, okay. Or Gallic Valhin, that's fine. Uh, we'll accept. So all of this land is going to get granted to random characters. We can disband our troops. And let's hope that we can usurp the duchy title as well. We cannot, because you are in another war right now. Two, in fact. Alright, the Teutonic Order's war, which is just at 4% and defending against the Lithuanian Civil War. Okay, so we'll have to wait until she's at peace before we can usurp that duchy title. We're not in danger of overrunning our vassal limit or anything yet, though. And our truce with them lasts until 1378. Okay. That's gonna be a while. There's a second Polish revolt going on. Uh, you are Waldensian also, okay. Uh, we have de ducal claims. Uh, let's check out this succession here again. Yeah, we have two people from the Prata dynasty in line to inherit now before somebody of our dynasty. And our plot is still not over 100%. Okay, let's cancel this plot for now. We can send somebody into hiding. That's probably not necessary. So let's work on the newborn heir here first. Hopefully he won't be too difficult to kill. We'll auto-invite people and see if anybody else is amenable to bribery. Seems like not that many people are. We're actually below a thousand gold for the first time in hundreds of years, probably. So maybe we should be a bit concerned about our income. I don't think that's going to be enough people to get us above 100% plot power here. Uh, our vassal, the Duke of Curland, who I believe is up here is uh, trying to take Semigalia from Gallic Valhine. Is this this duchy? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that could save us some trouble if he actually succeeds in that. That would mean we wouldn't even have to declare war on them again. So is anybody coming in here? Are we still not actually auto-inviting plotters, even though I have this checked? Okay, we have a peasant revolt for Baden. I'm going to assume that we have Vassal who can take care of that. Yeah, I guess we're just not getting people auto-invited here. All right. I guess that's why we didn't get the previous plot up above 100% either. Okay, something has been converted to Catholic faith. I think that was one of the Waldensian provinces. Oh good lord, what's happened here? We've lost Valois. How did this happen? Well, fortunately, you will accept a peaceful vassalization. 
I want to improve my image as a Kaiserin. If everyone knows me as a great ruler, it will be much easier for me to achieve my ambitions. Thus, I want to be known as a great ruler because of my glory and honor, in which case we be, could, could become brave or gregarious. We are both of those things already. Good and benevolent, benevolent rule, we could become just or charitable, both of which we also are. Zealous or chaste. We are chaste, but not zealous, okay. We could become cruel or cynical. Well, I guess we don't really mind that much which of these we take. We could try to become zealous. We didn't, that's okay. Alright, good. That's taken care of pretty quickly. Is anybody taking care of our peasant revolt? Not as far as I can see. Okay, our income is at 50 per month, or... This is per month, I think, yes. So we don't actually have to worry about this at all. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to raise my own troops to take care of this. Shouldn't really be an issue, though. We'll put some leaders in charge of here and wait for them to regain morale. I'll lead it myself. Let's check on your war. Zero percent, okay. Uh, no, no land is going to be ceded to the Teutonic Order. What did I just say? really like our chances of actually succeeding this plot either. Oh, look at that. Somebody did take care of the Peasant Revolt. Let's just lower our troops then. Hmm. Alright, let's find Livia again. See if we can have any better chance of killing her. Oh, maybe we're actually auto-inviting people now? That would be great. Well, we have two people that got auto-invited. Uh, that was a huge bribe that I just clicked without really reading it. 200? Good lord, come on now. I think this one should go above 100, so we'll at least make some progress. Towards securing Poland, or at least, hopefully. We'll see where this gets us. 83. My prisoner's complaining, he can rot. 103, okay, good. Please fire soon. Um, I was called to arms at some point by Miser, and then nothing happened. So he's attacking the Holy War for Ultra Jordan. What's going on here? Some duchies have become independent of the Bulgarian Empire down here in Jerusalem. Are you just revolting? Nope, you are fully independent. Okay, well that's weird. But I guess that is exactly why Miser is declaring war on them, so it'll end up under our dynasty at some point anyway. You have a Shia vassal in there for some reason. And we have righteous imprisonment on this Duchess. She's the leader of a plot. To kill Prince Tibor of Moldova. I don't think we care about that. 
Uh, we'll diplomatically explain why this guy absolutely has to remain in prison, at least until we can extract some money from his ransom. I guess we don't have our ransom all prisoners decision, okay. We'll just manually ransom some people. The cook complained to me about my nephew Dietwin's temper tantrums. Apparently he punched her son in the face again. We will try to make him patient. Plus one to most stats. We didn't. He's going to be wroth. That's actually okay too. Bonus to Marshall. The rain is continuing in Hessen and we haven't seen a blue sky for weeks. We need sufficient rain for our fields, but excessive rain will cause a bad crop in the coming autumn. Okay, so we get uh, slower build time there. That's fine. We're not actually building anything right now, and once we are short enough on money that we'll hold off on building things for a while. Ooh. Just saw an independent Sweden happen there. King Torgil's here. Okay. Well, if he was female or had a female heir, we could definitely seize the opportunity to get our dynasty on the throne, but I guess that's not going to happen. You are calling us to arms against the Sultan of Rum. Why are we allied with you? Do I know who you are? Ah, okay. Your brother is Tibor. Well, I guess we'll accept, why not? I wonder if he would accept a marriage proposal. Ah, uh, he can't while he has a temporary title. Okay. Well, we'll accept. We'll maybe even help him out. So we're at war with the room now, which is a fairly powerful realm. Uh, I guess our peasant revolt didn't actually end. Somebody fought the army but never actually followed up. Okay. Well, I guess we'll actually have to take care of that ourselves, after all. Alright, so he's after the... Kingdom of Moldova here. Early small kingdom. And if this is the extent of his troops, I imagine he is actually going to need our help. Alright. I'll do it. 20,000, will this be enough? We'll get going. And we'll try to chase down this remnant of our peasant revolt. Okay, your mission has been a success. And his is the Pope. His Holiness, I assume, the Pope has extolled my virtues to the world in gratitude for my eradication of the heretics in Rustringen. Praise the Blessed Virgin, so we gain a lot of piety, and the Pope is happy with us. That also fulfills our ambition, so we can move our chaplain on to the next county. And finally, the Peasant Revolt is dealt with. Okay. You are going to get executed. Hmm, has our friend in the host army here already lost a battle in the large chunk of his army, or did it just move somewhere? Yes, he has lost a battle, it looks like. happened in Hungary. Something extremely ugly. War against the tyranny of King Otto. Monothelite. So there's all kinds of heresies spreading. At least King Otto is still a good Catholic. Alright, let's get leaders in charge and start fighting some battles over here.
no land for the Teutonic Order. Stop asking. Uh, speaking of this area of the map, though, let's check on our vassal's holy war. It looks like he's having a bad time with 23,000 Lithuanian troops parked on his capital. 76% uh, against him, yeah. Oh well, we're going to have to take that duchy ourselves, it looks like. But we are actually just about out of time for this episode, so we'll have to come back next time for some uh, battles over here and to help out our friends in the host invasion. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.